What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashes Corner. Shout out to the LDBC. Now, uh, I don't know why I wanted to just make a video this morning, so I chose this one. Because <laughs> I said I was going to make a video about this anyway. So, uh, um, I believe Ryan Garcia, after calling out Devin Haney, Javante Davis and Lomachenko said after his fight, you know, what's realistic is what his plans are. And his plans is to fight Jorge Linares and then Luke Campbell in that order. So he wants his next fight to be against Jorge Linares. I mean, and his fight after that to be against Luke Campbell. Now, I'm not mad at the Luke Campbell fight. That's a good fight to choose. You know what I mean? He's, Luke Campbell's not a bum. He got an all right record. You know, um, he had a good fight with Lomachenko. But Linares, you know, I mean, I want to take the fight Lom Linares when he moved up to 135. But just only because Lomachenko fought Linares. And I thought, you know, he should fight his leftovers until they get that fight. But to see Ryan Garcia call him out, you know, is it makes you it made me want to think about, you know, why why Linares, you know what I mean? But come to find out, him and Linares sparred uh, a few years ago, I believe three years ago, maybe, maybe longer than that. They sparred and um they kind of know each other. And after the sparring, uh Ryan Garcia had nothing but good things to say about the sparring and about Linares. But when they interviewed Linares about the sparring, he went over the top with all the 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 good positive things he was saying again, saying about Ryan Garcia and his talent. You know, and that's what's up. You know what I mean? So maybe Ryan Garcia just see that um, maybe if he can beat Linares, and Linares is a name that you know he'll start his star power will grow. And, you know, maybe it'll be, you know, a good experience for him. You know, I'm not mad at it, but to me, Linares is beyond his time. You know what I mean? Like, if a lot of people can stay boxing great all the way up to their 40, and other people just not the same. You know, Linares is uh, 34 years old. You know, to me, that's not old, too old to box. Not at all. But um, I just think that, the speed of Ryan Garcia is going to make this an easy fight for him. Uh, Linares do have pop, but <clears throat> I don't know if he's going to be able to hurt Ryan Garcia. I honestly don't know if he's going to be able to hit him at will the way he would like to. But uh, I believe uh, Linares, if he makes this a chess match, it makes Ryan Garcia thanks in this fight instead of rushing him like Donaire did. Um he probably can make Ryan Garcia look very, very average, you know, I mean, or worse than what you think he already looks right now. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about the specs of uh, Linares. Jorge Linares has 46 wins and five losses. He has 28 knockouts. He's been stopped all five times. He has a, um, he fought for 316 total rounds. In his professional career, his knockout rating is 54.9%. He's 34 years old. He's 5'8", with a 69-inch reach, okay? And he lost to Loma. Loma was, um, he lost to him last year, and he was stopped in the first round two fights back. So not his last fight, but the fight before that, he was stopped in the first round in January of this year by uh, Pablo Cano. But, um... Ryan Garcia did call him out and Luke, and Luke Campbell in that order after his last fight in the post presser. And um, Linares took the social media to respond. And he responded in English, Spanish, and, <laughs> and Japanese, you know. Uh, you can go on uh, ES News, uh, Fight Hype, and you know, a couple of uh, big channels the big media channels have that story in grave detail of exactly what he said. But um, he was basically talking shit. He was talking shit back to Ryan Garcia, and he said, this time it won't be like sparring, you know, 
he was just talking a lot of shit, you know. So I'm more than sure, I'm 100% sure that he him, himself is down to fight Ryan Garcia. If Ryan Garcia called for this fight, so it might versus Jorge, Jorge Nares. But moving on to Luke Campbell. <laughs> Luke Campbell's record is 20 wins and three losses. I didn't know he had three losses. I thought he just had one or two losses. But anyway, 20 wins, three losses. He has 16 knockouts. He's fought for 142 rounds. His knockout rating is 69.57%. He's 32 years old. He is a southpaw. He's 5'9 with a 71-inch reach. He's from the UK. And he lost to Linares. He lost to Jose to Jorge Linares in 2017. The same year that Linares lost to Lomo, I do believe. And um he lost to Linares in a 12-round split decision. And um, he's coming off a loss uh, from Lo- from Lomo. He lost to Lomo his last fight. And that was a 12-round um, fight, too, that he lost a uh, unanimous decision. But that was a good fight um, between him, between Luke Campbell and, and Lomo. That was, that was a pretty good fight. I did not catch and did not really know that Lomo... I mean, that Linares fought Luke Campbell. So I might check that fight out, of course, before um, I make my initial video before this fight happens, if it does happen. And Ryan Garcia's um, record, his specs is 19-0, 16 knockouts. 50, he fought for 59 rounds total. His knockout rating is 84.21%. He's 21 years old. He's 5'10 with a 70-inch reach. Now, he might be taller than both of these fighters. He's only an inch taller than um, Luke Campbell, but Luke Campbell has an inch longer in reach. So, just like, I mean, uh, even though Luke Campbell lost to Linares, as far as this style stylistic matchup, this is an easier win than Luke Campbell. So, um, yeah, I would see him fighting Linares first if these were his next two opponents. He would fight Linares first, and... um. That fight can happen this year. I don't see why. Well, no. Nah. Yeah, no. Nah. That fight's probably going to happen. And if it does happen, probably February or March, you know. And um, we should be able to get both fights next year. But um, I heard uh, Eddie Hearn say that he wants Devin Haney to fight Ryan Garcia or Javante Tank Davis next. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, you know. Uh I mean, it's not going to work as far as Ryan Garcia because Ryan Garcia made it painfully clear, made it clear that he's not, he don't want to fight uh, Devin Haney, even though he called him out. He called out Devin Haney multiple times. He said it's not realistic for him to fight him. So, I mean, Eddie Hearn, man, you know, he just, he's, he's ruined a few careers, you know. <laughs> It's a lot of talent, a lot of people at one th- at one thirty five, you know. And he narrowed it down to only Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. I mean, Ryan Garcia and, and Javante Davis. But let's see what happens. But I know for sure Ryan Garcia does not want any type of smoke. He don't want any vapors coming off of Devin Haney, yo. And that's just a fact. He made it clear and painfully obvious. But always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.